My friend Peter is a biologist who studies blennies, which are these primarily small marine fish. There are over 300 species worldwide. Some blennies have these giant venomous fangs. Uh, other blennies live on land, but most blennies live on reefs or other nearshore habitats. Peter travels the world collecting and studying blennies, and he asked me to build him some sort of spear to help him collect them. Uh, most of the commercially available fishing spears are made to catch bigger fish and those spears would just completely annihilate a little blenny. So I built him two kinds of spears. I built him a pole spear and a Hawaiian sling spear and I'm going to show you how I did it. What I'm about to show you is not a toy. Don't hurt yourself, don't hurt anyone else, and if you use any sort of fishing spear, Please do it legally and responsibly. Don't go kill a bunch of fish needlessly. I made the spikes of the head from 15 millimeter stainless steel bicycle spokes. I cut the curved head off of three spokes, then measured four inch segments. I could get two four inch segments from each spoke. And I cut the spokes. I only used five spokes per head, but having an extra is always a good idea. Then I ground one end of each spoke into a four-sided pyramid. In an earlier test, I made completely round tips, and that shape probably would work better than a four-sided design, but I figured it would be easier to resharpen a four-sided tip in the field than it would to resharpen a round one. Then I ground the other end to take off the burr left from cutting. Finally, I got the tip super sharp with a sharpening stone. The rest of the head is made from a stainless steel coupling nut size 1024. I drilled out one end to a depth of about 7 16 of an inch with a 1364 drill bit. I used a little machine oil as a lubricant and went slowly. I used PC7 to attach the spikes to the nut in the hole I just drilled. PC7 is a two-part metal reinforced waterproof paste epoxy. Link in the description. I threaded a bolt into one side of the coupling nut up to the bottom of the hole I just drilled so that the epoxy wouldn't get on the threads of the nut. Then I filled the hole with PC7 and pushed the spikes into the epoxy filled hole. I cleaned off the excess epoxy and in doing so the spikes splayed out nicely. I took a small piece of wood with five evenly spaced holes in it and put it on the spikes to hold them in place while the epoxy cured. Then I removed the bolt before the PC7 cured so that it wouldn't be glued to the nut. After the epoxy fully cured, the spearhead was ready for action. Both kinds of spears are made from this. It's a fiberglass driveway marker. I got this from Home Depot for $2. I've also seen them at Lowe's. They come in four foot lengths like this in a longer size. I think it's six feet. I've seen them in orange and yellow. I kind of like the yellow myself. There is a reflective sticker on the top and you can remove this. The adhesive is pretty strong, but uh, the heat gun really helps to loosen that up. One end of the driveway marker is pointed, so I cut that off with a hacksaw. I found that the fiberglass was splinter if you just cut straight through, so I made a shallow cut, then rotated the spear, made another shallow cut, and rotated, and continued this all the way around the spear, then finally cut all the way through. Then I measured the spear body and cut it to size with the hacksaw with the same rotating technique. I made two foot and three foot long spears for Peter. I don't really know what size is best, it's probably situation dependent. I then sanded the ends flat. The spearheads are attached to the spears by screwing them onto a threaded rod. The threaded rod I used is cut from a stainless steel bolt, size 1024, and I cleaned up the edge with a file. To attach this rod to the spear requires drilling a hole into the end of the spear, which can be tricky. A drill press would be helpful, but I don't have one, so I used my homemade drill powered lathe with a little jig I made just for this purpose. I used a 3 16 inch drill bit, and the drill remained stationary, and I pushed the spear onto the bit. I drilled about a quarter to a half inch deep. I mixed up some two-part epoxy, then filled the hole. Link in the description. Then I twisted the piece of bolt into the hole, making sure not to trap any large air bubbles. Once the epoxy had cured, I cut the bolt so that about a quarter inch was exposed. And I cleaned up the edge with a file. For the Hawaiian sling spear, I sanded the other end of the pole round. And I coated it in a thin coat of epoxy to add some protection and to help prevent splintering. 
the end of the pole spear is different. For that, I drilled a 5 32nd inch hole into the end of the spear to a depth of about 3 quarters of an inch. Then I mixed up more epoxy, filled the hole, and inserted a number 210 stainless steel screw eye. And I let the epoxy cure. The pole spear gets its propulsion from a stretchy band that is attached to the screw eye. To make the band, I use 3 8 inch OD, 1 quarter inch ID latex tubing that's commonly found at hardware stores. I cut the tubing to about 18 inches. Then I took some paracord and cut it to about 18 inches as well. Then I melted the ends with a lighter and tied a simple overhand knot in each end. Then I pushed each knot into an end of the latex tubing. I've done some tests, but I don't really know the ideal length of either the latex tubing or the paracord. It's dependent on how long your spear is and how much force you want to generate with the band. But 18 by 18 seems like a good starting point for a three foot spear. To secure the paracord to the latex, I used braided fishing line and tied a constrictor knot with the fishing line. Monofilament fishing line or any really strong thread would also work. The constrictor knot is a cool little knot that gets super tight without ever loosening. There's a link in the description to the constrictor knot image. To attach the band to the spear pole, I slid the paracord through the screw eye forming a loop, then fed the latex through the loop and pulled the latex end to tighten the knot. Propulsion for the Hawaiian spear is provided by a sling. I made the sling from 3 quarters inch PVC and some fittings. Two pieces of PVC were cut to two and a half inches and one piece was cut to four and a half inches. I used one T fitting in the middle. I used three end caps, two head holes drilled in them. I started with a small pilot hole, then drilled 21 64 inch holes in the center of each end cap. All the pieces were glued together with PVC cement and allowed to dry. I took a 5 8 inch ID nylon hose barb connector T and cut off the barb on the bottom of the T. Then I sanded the outside smooth and sanded the inside smooth too. I fed a piece of 12 inch latex tubing through the top of the T and used an 8 inch indoor outdoor releasable cable tie to secure the ends of the tubing to the back of the sling. This black cable tie is UV resistant so it should hold up better than the plain white ones, but it is releasable so it will be easy to replace when the time comes. I also cut the cable tie a little shorter. The spearhead fits on both kinds of spears and it simply just screws on the end. I made it this way so that it would be replaceable. To use the pull spear, you loop the tubing around your thumb like this. You reach up, hold on to the pole, swim around, look for a fish, aim. And when you release this hand, the spear goes flying. The Hawaiian sling is a little different. Slide the end of the spear into the sling, put it into the end of the nylon T, and then I like to hold it like I would a bow and arrow. A couple fingers, grab onto the end of the spear, pull the spear and the T back, use your other hand to hold onto the sling, aim, and when you release this back hand, the spear goes flying. I can't use a fishing spear here in Chicago, but let me show you how these things work on land. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. And if you want to learn more about Peter's Blenny research, I've included links below. Thanks for watching. Or other near shore habitats. Penny. <sighs> Penny. Species of Blenny worldwide. <clears throat> Just. <sighs> the wine swing. The. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, they come in orange and yellow. Ah, stop saying, uh, orange. Ah, slow. I kind of like the yellow myself. Uh, they do stuff that's awesome for $2. They...
Dig it. Both kinds of speed. Whoa. They come in four foot. I've also seen. Uh, if you use a heat gun to heat up. Both kinds of spears are made from this. Now there's a dog walking around. Hi, dog. Thank you. And a longer. They come as. I've seen them in orange.